Hey guys, what's up? I'm Esos here, and today I have for you some Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. Um, right, straight off the bat, obviously we've got cards here. This is sort of like the Team Fortress 2 factor of it. Like, you can get hats and things like that, but also, as you see there, you can get also plants that you can plant in either the wave mode, you know, like typical tower defense and whatnot, or... You can also use them in the multiplayer mode, which is the garden versus graveyard mode, which is sort of like what I'm going to be showing you some garden versus graveyard in this. And that's, that's type, it's for example, mix King of the Hill from Team Fortress 2 with um, payload. It's sort of like that, you know, you there, there's a point and once you capture it, the enemies get pushed back uh, to another point and we have to go back to that point. But these packs that I'm opening here are the packs that you start with, as you see. Um, and also, if you have a look in the top left, it says OMF Saws. I have changed my Xbox name now, so I'm no longer Powex Backhead. I have got that sorted to OMF Saws now. But, yeah, uh, like this is going to be quite a long clip, by the way, so I'm just going to inform you that I may not be talking all the way through the entire clip because it's quite a nice long beginning video, but I just thought I'd show you a substantial amount of uh, footage of Garden Warfare. And we, are, we will be going into the gameplay right now. As you see, I am playing zombies and I'm playing the... Uh, it's like the main foot soldier like thing um, as you saw by the card packs you can unlock character pieces which is like you you could technically call it a reskin for a character but you can still change your hats and everything on it it just basically changes the primary weapon for example like because uh, from that spectacular character pack or whatever it was that I got I got a tank commander for my Zombie foot soldier. I am not currently using that. I have tried it though. And what that does is that makes my primary weapon, instead of it being like a uh, assault rifle type thing, it turns it into just like it's as if it's a one shot grenade launch, you know, one shot then reload. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. I do prefer having the assault rifle though. As you see, there's a rocket jump as well. Um, it does feel very Team Fortress-like. It seems as if they did take a lot of uh, making their game into Team Fortress-type style, which is it's good, but you just think to yourself, are you sure this is not Team Fortress 2 Garden Warfare? <laughs> um, but as for the game itself, I think it's a brilliant game. Like It doesn't have a huge price tag either, like, for example... Most Xbox One games, the price tag you're looking at is about between 50 to 60 pounds. Whereas with Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare, if you wanted it on Xbox One, then if you buy it from a local retail store or whatever, you'll be looking at around about 30 pounds. But I bought mine straight off the Xbox Live Marketplace, which uh, that was 35 pounds. But I suppose that's just the way of saying, right, you don't have to go to the store, you don't have to worry about getting it on a disc, you can just download it straight away right now and play it as soon as it's done. Don't get me wrong, it took a while to download because it's 10 gigs and obviously I'm relying on the power of the wireless on the Xbox One, which I don't know how strong the wireless power is and obviously I'm not running on fibre optic internet, so, well, not yet anyway. So... It took a while to download. It does become playable after 25% downloaded, but I just I, I waited for 100%. I prefer to do it like that because when it's at 100%, it's going to run the best it possibly can. And as you see, like the, the game is nice. Like graphically, you can see that it's not necessarily using the best potential of the Xbox One, but graphics aren't what make a game good. Like just graphics, yeah, they, they make the game look fancy and whatnot, but that's not what makes a game good. And my personal opinion about this game, it is definitely different. I, I'm surprised, and to be honest with you, considering it's PopCap, 
I think they've done a brilliant job because, like, if I'm correct, I'm not. I've not necessarily looked into this, but I believe this is the first game by PopCap that is made with this sort of aspect too. You know, like a proper 3D console game that is like a shooter and whatnot. Whereas I, I believe that all PopCap have done before are indie games, such as obviously the original Plants vs Zombies. Um, they've done Zuma. That just a load of arcade games, really. So, as you see, that teleporter, that's what an engineer has made. Um, that's what I mean, it has a lot of aspects from Team Fortress 2, like... Uh, for example, the chomper on the plant side. It is... You may as well just call it a spy. Because... You can only attack with melee. Obviously, you do get an ability which allows you to spit some goop onto an enemy which slows them down. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it does any damage, but apart from that, your other abilities is dig, which is like stealth technically. Uh, use it wisely. And, oh, by the way, what you just saw me do there was I raised some NPC zombies to attack the point. <clears throat> um, but there's a chomper right there. Um, but yeah, basically with the chomper, you get the dig ability, you get the spit goop ability, and there's also another ability which is like a trap. If an enemy walks on it, then it basically just hangs them upside down for about five seconds, and that gives the chomper the chance to just walk up to them and eat them. <laughs> and yeah, basically as a chomper, if you um, are behind an enemy, and then you obviously use your primary attack button, which is right trigger. Primary attack for the chomper is melee, of course. Um, but yeah, basically, if you do that, then you go into one hit your opponent. But obviously, it's not a backstab, because what you do, you just lift them up and put them in your mouth, basically, and then you just eat them. <laughs> um, the only downside which I see to the chomper, which I have found out by use of the chomper, is... Once you have actually eaten somebody, it's better if you like. You do need to be more stealthy with the chomper than the spy, as such, because with the spy, if you backstab someone, you can instantly go into stealth, or you can instantly backstab another person, or something like that. With the chomper, that's not the case, because once you've eaten somebody, you have to then wait like three seconds, four seconds before you can do any other action, whether it's dig, away, dig to get away or to chomp somebody else, because basically you just got to wait for the chomper to swallow the zombie that he's just eaten. Um, so, I reckon that that necessarily needs to be buffed as such, you know, to make it so either he finishes eating the zombie quicker or that you can just instantly do it after, because like it, it feels a bit underpowered because if you go into a group of people and then you eat one that's it you just like useless for a few seconds but a good thing if you use dig as well if you end up underneath another zombie as you just saw there i think uh except somehow that messed up but yeah you can basically come up out of the ground and actually eat them on your way out of the ground so that, that's a very good aspect but anyway enough about the chomper because we're not even playing chomper here we're playing uh the assault zombie the, the reason why I was talking about the other classes is because obviously, like I say, it has a Team, team Fortress 2 aspect to it. And it just, it really feels like it does. And a lot of the classes feel very similar. The only downside as well is, uh, obviously you get the four classes of zombies and you get the four classes of um, plants. But, like I say, the chomper plant is basically like the spy. But there's nothing that's kind of like that for the zombies. Like, personal opinion, if I could name them out to you, is on the zombies, you have the engineer, which is actually an engineer as well. Um, is actually named engineer as well. You have the scientist, which is scout, except a scout that can do a bit of teleporting as well and healing. Um, but you move fast and you have your scatter gun and... All that sort of stuff. There is... 
obviously the one that I'm playing, which is like the typical foot soldier, rocket jumping, you've got an RPG on your back, or a ZPG for a zombie. Well, I don't know, what, what would ZPG stand for? Z zombie propelled grenade? <laughs> Maybe. Um, but obviously you have like an assault rifle thing as well. And you have like a smoke grenade, which is like toxic smoke. Um, and the final zombie, if I'm correct, yes. The final zombie is the all-star, which is just basically the heavy. You have a big machine gun that doesn't run out of ammo. Like, obviously, you do have to... It does, like, overcharge itself, so you have to wait if you overcharge it sort of thing. But apart from that, it's like got unlimited ammo and whatnot. Um, and for the plants, you have the spy, which is the chomper. Or the chomper, which is the spy. Uh, you have the pea shooter, which that's. I don't know if I could really class that as a class on TF2. That that's more of its own sort of thing, you know. Just I think the only thing that I'd say with the pea shooter is it feels more like you when you use a soldier in Team Fortress 2, you do have to sort of aim where they're gonna be. It's Sort of like that with a pea shooter, except it's as if you've got the direct hit, because obviously the projectiles move quicker than the rockets do. So, just imagine using the direct hit with a bit more splash damage to it. It's type of like that when using the pea shooter, but there is an ability that you can use, which is the Gatlin gun. So you can like lock yourself into the ground and become like a heavy for about 10 seconds. Um, as you see, I just got killed by a cactus. The cactus is a sniper. Pretty much, except instead of having an actual bolt-action sniper rifle, you have... Well, obviously you shoot spikes, but it's basically just like a normal semi-automatic rifle. Um, which, it's not a one-shot kill, but if you get critical hits, then I believe it's like a three to four-shot kill, which critical hit is a headshot. Um... What else do we have on plants which I haven't covered? Ah, sunflower, which is the healer. Which, that that works the same sort of uh, way that the medic does on Team Fortress 2. You know, you can just lock yourself to a ally and use the beam to heal them. And uh, you can also make it so you lock yourself into the ground and shoot a sunbeam, which is dangerous. Which obviously harms enemies. Also, when it comes to reviving, because you can revive each other, if you are a healing class, either like a engineer for zombies or a sunflower for plants, you can revive your allies quicker than anyone else. So obviously that's a, that's a good aspect to it. Oh, as you see there, like these uh, walnut battlements and also that potato bomb on the floor, they're placed by the cactus, because obviously... The cactus is like the camper, you know, like sniper camper sort of thing. I can put down battlements to protect me. I can put down um, potato bombs and otherwise like claymores, uh, which is quite fantastic. Like, I feel the game itself is is very good. It's got a nice amount of work into it. I, I wish you could choose more classes. Obviously, like I say, when you get a new character type through the card packs, then... Yes, you do technically get a different weapon and whatnot, but and it will change the way that you have to play the game with that character. But it's not necessarily giving you any of the other classes. So, oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, oh, healer on plants and no healer on zombies, that's a bit OP. Um, oh, as you see, I just got hung upside down. That was the chomper's ability. But what I was saying about the healer thing is on zombies, the scientist can throw down this like item that shoots out purple goo like stuff and if you stand in that then you're getting healed anyway so zombies do have their own way of healing it's just they can't heal on the move really apart from the obviously natural regeneration but overall i just think that this game is very good as you see the hat that i've got on on my zombie character is a hat that i got from a card pack which is very cool, actually. It looks uh, like a nice cowboy hat. Texas 10-gallon from <laughs> Team Fortress, basically. 
Uh, I'm enjoying playing the game personally. And to be fair, while this video is uploading, I'm probably going to be playing more of the game. Now we're on to the final point where instead of having to capture a point, we have to get vo five zombies into the mansion. So at this point, I've decided to make a rush for it to try to get past all the zombies. Um, luckily enough, uh, to get past the zombies, to get past the plants. Luckily enough, I had an engineer next to me, as you see up there. And he's now going to build a teleporter up there. And I quickly kill this pea shooter just to make sure that he can't do it. And now he's obviously got the teleporter. And then we're just going to flood zombies through the gates. And we're at the top of the bit. So, though, because with that hill, as you see, there's loads of those walnuts being uh, shot down the hill. If any of them hit you, they one hit you. So, now we haven't got to worry about that because, well, the NG made a teleporter. Which means we can just walk straight there. But... As I was saying earlier, you know how like the fact with the chomper needs a buff to make it so you can instantly kill somebody else as well. Oh, there's that healing thing, by the way. Um, but, yeah, I think with the NG, that technically needs a bit of a nerf. Because with the teleporter, there's no cooldown to how long it takes to teleport someone or whatever. So you just instantly teleport, 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 teleport. And you just send a whole army through. And as you see, there is the win. And this was a very long match, like these uh, garden versus graveyards are long matches. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like is highly appreciated. And also drop me a comment, let me know what you think to the game. If you're not already subscribed, be epic, hit that subscribe button. I've been Hermes Source, and until next time, peace.